Alrighty, guys and gals, welcome back, everybody. Happy Friday, happy Friday fun day. I missed last Friday, <laughs> but I'm going to try to do this every Friday, so it'll be a double release on Fridays. Also, I think it's going to be a double release on Saturdays. I don't know. Uh, the reason I'm saying the double release on Saturdays is because I've got my co-op uh, co with Alpine Gaming, and I believe we are releasing those on Saturdays. So uh, you'll get uh, the co-op and then whatever's scheduled uh, Warcraft video. And then Fridays, you'll get the regular scheduled Warcraft videos and then a different game. Anyway, this is City Skylines. One of my favorite games. Uh, just because it's, uh, I love building and resource management and things like that. I can get lost in it. Uh, anyway, we're going to do a new game here. Um, it is a city builder and resource management. And the goal of this Let's Play, um, we're going to try, I'm going to, we're going to continue this Let's Play. We're going to try to get to 1,000 um, subscribers. <laughs> No, we're going to try to get to, um, not a thousand, a million, the population of one million. So you start from zero and you have to build the infrastructure. You have to build your roads. You have to place houses, businesses, things like that. And I'll try to explain as I go for anybody who's not familiar. I've got a couple of different ideas in the future for this game, but it's really kind of, I don't know, I like this game a lot. So I was going to say it depends on how many people seem to enjoy it or like it. But uh, one of the things I was going to do with this I was going to try to build the town where I grew up from memory to see if I could remember where things were and then, you know, call it complete after when I thought it was done and then maybe bring up a side-by-side -side map and see how I did. Anyway, for this game or for this let's play, we're going to try to get to a population of 1 million. I am playing with um, no mods on. Here are my mods. I don't have that many. I don't really use a lot of stuff, but a lot of different stuff you can use. You can so in the game you have milestones. If when you as your population grows, you get more unlocks and things like that. Um, I don't have any of that on. I have everything. We're basically playing um, as vanilla. Uh, so let's go new game. And I've got two expansions or DLCs they call them that I bought. Um, I think, I can't even remember what this is. This is Natural Disasters, this one here. This is green or something. I don't I don't know, green life or something. But we're going to be going, um, and these are the ones that I have not purchased down here. Anyway, we're going to go vanilla. So I think two rivers. We're going to try to go with the most buildable area. So as you click on one, it gives you kind of a small preview of what you're building with. And then you can look over here and it shows you the natural resources. So you can, once your town develops, you'll go from like a small town to a city and then larger cities. And then you can have individual uh, districts and things like that. But it shows you the resources that you're able to use. So you can build up your industry. You can have forestry. You can have mining. It depends on... Uh, what kind of resources you have in your area. Anyway, we're going to go two rivers here because I think right here where it says suitable for building, I think 78 is the best you can do. So let's jump into it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a little bit rusty. I've got a lot of hours in this game, but I have not played it in a while. I used to play this a lot just to pass the time. You can get lost in this game. There are people who have taken this game to crazy proportions. I'm talking about people who have built replicas of like Paris, you know, all you know, London, all these major cities. Um, so we start the game paused. And so this is what we're dealing with here. So this is kind of garbage. Well, it's not garbage. We're going to do the best we can here. Um, so as we reach milestones, we'll be able to unlock squares, like the adjacent square here, 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 or here. And I think it's, what is it? It's I, I think it's 16 tiles you can unlock. It might be 12. But this is what we're starting with. So they, whoops. 
let's keep it paused. So they put you in the game and they give you a connection to the highway, right? And then they give you access to water. And that's what you need to start. So I'm going to look at this and just, I'm going to keep in mind about where we want to unlock our next tile. And I think uh, it's either going to be here uh, so that I can access this highway differently. I could put a little, like they have this junction here. You can put uh, little junctions as you unlock tiles. So I think we're going to build just right here. I do have to, uh, I do have to have access to this water though, but I think we'll go here so I can have access. I also see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a, am I okay on the screen? I did reduce the size of me on the screen so you could see a little bit more. And I'm sorry, I had to reduce this. <laughs> anyway, so this is a railroad line and this, this is long-term thinking you do have access to the railroad for you so you can import and export same thing with shipping lanes you can't see it but i probably this is the ocean out here uh also you can access shipping lanes through these waterways if they are large enough but anyway okay so what we're going to do i'm going to leave the game paused and the reason i'm going to leave the game paused is because there are taxes in the game. So when you lay down roads, you get taxed for the roads, just like in real life. So we start with nothing down here. So what we're going to do, the way this game works in vanilla, um, you have to lay down a basic road first. And once you lay down a basic road, then for some reason, it'll allow you to unlock this. So I'm just going to do this and then see it unlocks these other basic roads and then we'll uh, get rid of that. So, let's see here. I have a little bit. We we start. Uh, you start with seventy grand, and I already wasted ten bucks. What are these called? I can't. These are called credits. I think I'm just going to call them dollars or bucks or whatever. But yeah, it's a C. I think they're called credits. So you have to be careful. You can run out of money, and you can go bankrupt. And we're going to try not to do that. So what I have to think about is power. I have to have electricity. Um, a good way to start that is usually, well, this is basically your only option. You can also use uh, wind turbines. And if I click on the wind turbine, whoops, these darker areas, so you see where it says estimated production, seven mil, uh, megawatts. You want to get that as high as you can. Uh, eight is the most you can get. So, But these are pretty expensive and they cost a lot to upkeep. So we're going to try... To do a coal um, plant. It causes pollution, causes uh, ground pollution, and also noise pollution. And you can see the upkeep. It costs 560 bucks a week to upkeep it, and it's initially $19,000 to place. So, uh, and then water. We have to manage uh, water for our people. So, have to keep that in mind. I've got to save some money so I can drop a water pumping station, and then we need a, an outlet because uh, you start the game and you just pump raw sewage right into the river, as you would. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're, let's put some music on here. The game has in it has in game music. It's got a couple of stations to choose from, and this sh should be copyright free. I'm hoping. Let me. Let me uh, let me adjust the sound a little bit um, so it's not too loud. It's kind of hard to tell how loud it's going to be. Let's do that. Hopefully that's not too loud. That actually does sound a little bit loud. Uh, I wish I could adjust it here. This just mutes it, this button. You can't adjust the volume there. You have to go into here. We're going to put this down. What does that sound like? That's not too bad. All right, let's do this. We're going to lay our first road here. So just like real interstates, um, this you can also you can use this game or you can set the game up for right hand driving for the countries that drive on the right hand side or countries that drive on the left hand side. Uh, you can set it up either way. I'm going to use American rules uh, just because I'm American and I'm used to it. It would be a nightmare for me to try to switch everything over like that. Anyway, so we're going to come off. We want uh, we're going to go a two lane road. We're going to come up a little bit like so, and I'm going to try to lay out our town and I'm going to try, I'm going to build this way initially. So I have access to this water and stuff over here. So let's see. And there are, there are different ways to do this. Um, 
I'm just going to I'm just going to kind of wing this, I think, this uh this town here, but I'm going to try to set it up uh as best I can that makes sense. So I'm going to be wasting a little bit of money initially here. That's a 45. It is a 45. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to leave that one for right now. And there's a reason I'm setting it up this way. So this is going to come this way. That's going to come this way. So I'm going to, this is in and out. And I'm going to make an overpass right here. If I can remember how to do this. So let me see, how do I elevate again? I think it's just up. Up key. Uh, what else? Oh, page up. One, two, three. I'm going to come across the road. And then down. Up. Is that right? That looks pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. And then these roads are going to continue. So let's just uh, we'll come one more tile in and one more this way. There we go. So when I unpause, all of these arrows and stuff will disappear. Oh, well, I just have to do that. But that'll, it's not so confusing. And it does name roads, and you have complete freedom with this game. You can name basically anything. You could name individual people. You could name cars, buildings, roads, whatever you want to do. All right. Uh, so let's see. So let me see. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think. So we're going to come out this way. And this, I want to switch now to, actually, this needs to be two-way, doesn't it? How do I want to do this? I think, actually, this is, I'm supposed to have this up this way. But I'm going to leave it like this. Um, and we're going to have some industry down here. So I'm going to have neighborhoods here. And then down at the very end, I'm going to have, uh, we'll put a little coal power plant. If I can afford it, I do have to pay attention to my money here. So we're going to come out this way. Only thing I don't like about how they start you off, they put these intersections in, these, um, ex these highway um, interchanges. They're not lined up. <laughs> It's uh, somebody who has OCD a little bit. This would drive you freaking crazy because you, your roads aren't going to line up right off the bat. So do the best we can here. What you can do is turn snapping off. How do I do that? Where is snapping? This. Turn. Um, snap to angle. Turn that off. Is that what I want? Yes. Yes. So if you turn that off, the roads don't automatically line up. It's going to be a little bit wonky, but that's fine. So, and it gives you, you can see construction cost. It'll give you a rough estimate of what it's going to be. That's a lot. We're going to do that, though. We're going to do that. Uh, I don't know what station we're listening to. Let's do, um, let's do the classics. Classical. What's cool about these radio stations they have built in is they have their own commercials, and they are pretty hilarious. Some of the some of the built-in uh, commercials are really funny. Okay, so we're gonna try. Let me see how we're gonna do this. So cars are gonna come in. So cars have a way into our little city here, and then they have a way out. It's kind of this is gonna change a little bit, but for now this is going to work. And let me just make this. Put that. Just make that a little kind of like a roundabout so people can uh i don't know if they change their mind they can literally they come in it's like nah this is hick town let's get on out and they can <laughs> they can boogie okay so let's drop we're gonna do this um so now i want these back on let's turn these back on it does help a little bit to get things lined up nice so let's go to hopefully i'm not spending too much money here um power we're gonna throw a coal plant down right here gonna put it so you see that red circle that is the pollution zone that this thing is gonna create 19 grand yikes it's okay we have to do this we're gonna put it let's just put it right here 
and I'm going to need power lines. So the way power works in this game, it's pretty cool. You see this bluish purple or whatever the hell it is. Um, things will feed into another. So if I built a house right here, this actually would extend and you can avoid using power lines. But you don't want to put houses too close to this power plant because people will get sick. That is a thing. Pollution will make people sick and they'll start complaining. And if you don't have a hospital or clinics for them to go to, they'll die. And then if they die, if you don't have burial, uh, like a crematorium or a graveyard service, the bodies will stay in the buildings and neighbors will complain. <laughs> There's a lot of things to think about. Uh, one of the reasons I like this game. Uh, so water. We're going to put water down here. So the thing about water, the pumping station, you're going to want to put um, downstream. Oh, boy. You want the pumping station downstream from your sewage outlet. So if I put a sewage outlet here, that means sewage, raw sewage would pump into this river and you could see it. it. The water turns a little bit brown and disgusting. And if you had your inlet up here, you would be pumping in raw sewage for your people. They don't like that. And neither would I. So I should have looked at the direction of this. But I think we can get away with this. I don't think it's going to be um, close enough to this plant. But I I'm hoping that it's not. And then the drain pipe, we're just going to put... We want to put this kind of close, but not too close. We'll put the drain here for now. And then these have to be connected like so. What are we doing? Okay, we're still, we're not too bad here. So the way I'm going to do my water pipes, I'm going to try to make it sort of realistic. And what I mean by sort of realistic, in real life, water, uh, water systems are accessed. They're under the street. Um, that's how they... At least that's how they are here in the, the U.S. So um, let's see how we're going to do this. We want, I don't want to build, you also don't want to build too close to highways and interchanges. So we're going to come up right here with the water. It's a lot. And does that cover, so it doesn't quite cover this building. So we'll just go up like this. So now it's in blue. That means water is provided here. So we got to start getting some uh, some places in here. So as far as houses go, green is residential, and you can have low density and high density. But the, that comes the high density comes with a milestone. We have to reach a population of seven thousand before we can do that. So you have your basic low density residential. You have uh, low density commercial things sh like shops, grocery stores, and then you have your industry, which creates pollution. So. As the town grows, people are going to need jobs. So you're going to have to put in little stores um, for people to work at and buy things. And then you probably need an industrial zone. Uh, you can set your, si your city up so it's self-sustained. You can uh, do forestry uh, and you can use that lumber to build. Um, you can have uh, you can convert some of your materials into uh, raw products for your electricity. Lots of cool things you can do. But what we want to do, we want to chuck some houses in here. And um, I want to do, I like doing it one by one here. So you have options to place. If the paint thing is here, it'll fill a whole deal. If it's a brush, you can brush in what you want. I like to use um, the single squares at a time. So we've got water basically all the way down here. What I need to think about is power. So I'm going to do a short little utility pole here. And I'm going to build, I'm going to put some houses in right here. So we're just going to zone in. I'm going to zone in like this and see what we get here. We'll start like that. And let me go back to power. So when these houses pop in, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. Let me do it this way. A better way to do this. Oh, how do I, I'm trying to remember my controls here. Shift, it's right click, right click. So let me put a house in here. I'm gonna unpause it and things, you'll see my money is gonna go way down because I'm gonna incur taxes on all of the stuff that I put down. And uh, hopefully it won't be ta too bad. So you can increase the speed. You have three um, time frames: slow, medium, and fast. So I'm gonna increase the speed. We should see somebody, uh, some people driving in. 
hopefully soon. <laughs> okay, so somebody's moved into the neighborhood. So let's pause. I'm going to slow the speed down. Let's see. Okay, so that's the bubble. So he, they're complaining of power. It's like, hey, I just moved into this house, dude. I don't have any power. So we're going to connect like that. Not too bad. So when I unpause this. Oh, this is nice. This worked out nice. So these are actually sharing power from this. So I don't have to run lines there. And let me just look at, um, let me look at our pollution here. Um, how do I do that? Oh, I don't think I can look at that yet, actually. I can't look at the pollution yet. But I think it's fine. I don't think it's going to touch here. So, all right, let's put in some more people. So, down here at the bottom, this is commercial, uh, or resident, commercial, and industry. And the higher this is, that's the more demand. So, people want to move in. So, I need to lay some more houses. So, now that I have this this one in, I can, I can chuck these... I'll chuck some houses in here. And uh, you get random stuff. There are, I don't know how many designs of houses there are, but depending on how you you uh, you fill in the area, you can get a different design. But to start out, we just kind of want people, we want people flowing in here. So I'm going to build on both sides of the street. And this number in red, this is our weekly income. And, uh, you obviously, uh, we're not doing too well right now, but that will change when we start getting some demand for commercial and uh, industry. We'll start making some money. So as more people, so we're pumping water in here, and as more people move in, this will start to be utilized, and it'll uh, be disgusting. <laughs> Now, once we unlock different things, we can put like uh, different, we can put um, filters in place, sewage treatment plants, things like that. And that's what we want to do, obviously. So I've got a little tiny bit for some commercials. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw a little bit of commercial in. I'm going to put, um, we're going to put some streets in here. I'll try to stick to the nodes for now. And uh, what we're going to do, like we have in real life, like small towns, you often have like little corner shops, you know? So we're going to put a couple of little shops in right here. And I'm going to put a, we'll do a three by three here. Up here, we'll do a four by four. That'll give us, that's not four by four. We'll do a four by four. That'll give us a bigger type of shop. And on this side, we'll do... We'll do three. Actually, I'll just take advantage. I'll use this whole spot here. And on this side, I'll put another small shop. And we'll see what we get. So we got a truck coming in. You can click on a truck. It'll tell you where it's going. So it's importing coal to the power plant to run. So once we unlock, we get to a certain milestone, I'll be able to basically, I'll be able to look at the resources. Um, it'll show me a highlighted map. Um, and if we have uh, oil or we can mine, we'll be able to set up a plant and then set up a road system to where we'll mine our own ore and bring it into the plant here. But for now, we have to, uh, we've got to import it and pay for it. So these shops should pop in. Let's get some more houses down here. Let's throw, um, I need these to pop in so that the power grid will extend over here. We're not doing too bad on money, but we, uh, but this can easily, you can go crazy and you can actually be bankrupt. Now, they do give you an out if you go bankrupt too early. Um, I believe you can take a loan out. Not yet. Okay, we just have to reach a population of 420. <laughs> uh, at 420 people, we'll be able to take a loan if we want. You can also adjust your budget. I don't generally mess with any of this. Unless I really have to. Sometimes you get into a position where you have to reduce uh, your production to, in order to save a little money. And you can also um, adjust your taxes. And there's a sweet spot for taxes. And we'll do that uh, when we reach a population of 400. Right now, our population is 72 right here. Not very much. Let's increase the speed a little bit. I'm going to put it on... Uh, we'll put it on double time. And you can zoom in. You can see people... You can, whoops, 
Hold on. So if I pause this, you can see what people are doing. So this is Julie Scott. So I could rename this person if I wanted to. So she's uneducated because we don't have any school systems in yet. You have to have fire departments. You have to have hospitals. You have to have uh, police, all kinds of stuff. You have to have uh, elementary school, um, like middle school or high school, and then at colleges for your people if you want. So she's an attendant at the coal power plant. So she's on her way. Also, you can there's bus systems that you can make. There's trolleys. You can have people, if they're going to like a different city, you can set up trains and all kinds of stuff. And if I wanted to, I could rename her, but we're going to leave her how she is for now. Anyway, so we got some buildings popping up here. This means we'll start generating a little bit of income. We still have a super high demand for houses. So we're going to throw some more houses down. I like to leave a little bit of space between the houses and the commercial zones. Not a whole lot, but so for here, I'm just going to, we're going to fill all of this in like so. Now we do have these industrial trucks, these big trucks coming down um, in uh, residential areas. It's not ideal, but it's not a whole lot you can do about it for right now. But what I might do in the future is we might make an elevated road, a straight shot for these big trucks who are delivering and uh, importing and exporting so they have a straight shot to the highway. Um, that way they can just get in and out without driving through uh, these residential zones. Noise is a factor in the game. So we have no demand for commercial. So these, just because of the side, the small size of our town, these four shops um, are going to do the job. So let's see what we have here. We've got, what is this? Quiet corner shop. Okay, so we've got four of eight workers. And it shows you there. So you've got uneducated, aid, uh, educated, well-educated, highly educated. Um, so you see the number eight beside uneducated. So you don't really need an education to work here. And that's they start you out like that, uh, fortunately. What do we got here? Is this a burger shop? We got Big Bite Restaurant. I can rename these if I wanted to. They've got a full crew working there. What do we got here? Pancakes, man. Hell yeah. Five for five. Very nice. And then right here, what is this? A convenience store. Perfect. And they uh almost full. Got one job available. Very nice. Okay, so now we've got some, um, you'll see down here, high demand for industry or offices. We can't do offices yet. That's an unlock. But we can put some more industry down here. Let me make sure. I think we're okay here. So you see the sewage happening here. Yum. This was not ideal. I didn't think about this very well, but I think we're safe here. I think we're pumping fresh water. But uh, let's put some more industry. That'll generate uh, that'll generate more jobs and more income. So industry is the yellow. So what we're going to do here, I don't want stuff too close. I'm not going to build any closer than that. So let's extend this road a little bit. And let's throw down some industry. See what we get. It's a it's a very high demand. I do have to so let me look at my water. So we're gonna have to extend our water pipes. Just do that. Electricity is electricity covered. Electricity is covered. We're doing very well there. We'll stay on this side of the street. Listening to the commercial. Because it was Such a noble effort, but dear Bart loved the Cantador and would never have thrown it out. It would have almost certainly been dismantled and used. Hold on. I need to turn that up a little bit. It's I think they're hilarious. I don't know if you guys can hear them very well. Nice. Commercials aren't as loud as the music. There are some pretty damn funny ones. All right, so our residential uh, demand is going up a little bit. Industry is going down. 
So we're we're looking better. We're not at a positive uh, income yet, but it's getting there. It's better than minus twelve hundred a week. <laughs> That's what we were doing. So we need to think about some uh, how we're going to set up our neighborhoods and things here. How are we doing on time? Not too bad. About a half an hour in. So we're just, let's um, let's do that. I like to make fairly large um, little blocks here. Let's go up this way. I'll stay on the, the node there. So got a little neighborhood block here. So we will fill this in. I like to leave open space in the middle. It feels a little bit more natural. You can add trees and things like that. If I wanted to, I could create a road. Uh, sometimes I'll just do something like this, though, you know? Because neighborhoods are set up kind of, you know, they're a little bit wonky. Right now, I'm just kind of using a grid pattern. But it is nice. There is a freeform tool that you can use. And you can have roads, like you can have bendy roads. You can do all types of, uh, of stuff. But initially, we're just going to do this first initial um, neighborhood, just kind of blocky like this, just to keep it kind of simple and under control. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fill all of this in. Actually, I'm going to fill that in. Keep a little room for some more shops right here if we want. It's super high demand, so I'm going to fill all of this in right now. And I'll leave a little I'll leave a little space right there. Let's go there. Little demand for some more um, commercial. So we're gonna put a little shop in here and we'll do it like that. We'll see what that gives us. So you can mess around with your shop with your um, oh that's right we need water. I gotta get water out here. So we're gonna go right up the street the water. Very nice. That should take care of them. And uh, so you can see, this is our water availability. We got plenty of water. The sewage is fine. You can do the same thing with electricity. Electricity consumption is only 5 megawatts. Now, this will slowly change. We're able to produce 40 megawatts. So as we get more people, as we approach 40, we're going to have to do some changes. We'll have to do some additional power, put in another plant, uh, maybe some wind power. You can also do uh, wind turbines, which go into the water. Pretty effective. Dun, 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 dun. We are we're approaching 420. See if we can hit the milestone this episode, and then we'll call this first one. So these trucks, yeah. So um, one of the things I'll have to work on when we get a little bit larger, I might think about unlocking this tile down here so that I can have, I'll create a little off and on ramp right here. So our trucks, delivery trucks, the way that the AI works, the vehicles, they'll take the shortest route. Um, so if I can get a little uh, on and off ramp right here, connect it up, we might have the delivery trucks and come right off of here and not have to drive through the residential neighborhoods. We've got our demand for industry is going up some more. So you can do industry specialization, but you have to unlock it. Um, so for right now, it's just generic industry. But if I had if I had it unlocked, we could do forestry, which is a little bit more green. But for now, you just have these uh, industries that are pretty, they cause a lot of pollution. They're basically eyesores, but you can see what you get, you know? What do we got here? We've got uh, Frank's Fish Stick Factory. I could rename that if I wanted to. There's Ice Cube. Ice Cube works here. That's his, that's his joint. We got Ready to Wear Limited. We got a box factory, and you can rename all of this stuff if you wanted to. And we might do that. I might. Uh, we might name some some of our subs and stuff. I don't know. If you guys got a good recommendation on a building, a building name, let me know. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We're starting to even out. Oh, look at this. We're making money. So we have got. We're now making about two hundred and forty something a week. That's good. So once you get to this point. Uh, you're pretty safe. Pretty safe. Dun, dun, dun. We still got some residential stuff, so I'm going to slow it. Let's slow it. I like to have it on slow time while I'm building. That way things don't overdevelop too fast. Uh, you also will be able to unlock bigger roads. And the way that I built here, this so we're kind of stuck here. Because if I upgraded the road, it's going to widen the road, which would mean it would 
take out these houses. So we're kind of stuck with the small roads here. There is a way that you can build and leave gaps so that you, when you upgrade the road, it doesn't affect the houses. But I didn't do that. Anyway, let's extend a little bit. We're going to hit 420 any moment here. We'll get kind. I don't want to get too close over here to this to these factories, <clears throat> but we can do this. And I'll do another little road and like that. Should I extend this one? Why not? Let's extend this. We may as well. Let's get some more houses down. Dun, dun. We need some more shops, but we're going to fill all of this in. Keeping in line with that. And I'm not going to build on this side. I don't want to get too close to these factories. But I'll tell you what, let's throw a little, we'll throw a little shop down here, right on the intersection here. Do that, and we'll put one here. That's as close as I want to get. Also, um, oh, never mind. I was going to say, you can create buffers. There will be noise zones. If you have too much industry close to your residence, they'll complain like, hey, dude, it's too loud. So one way to get around that, if we can unlock it, is offices. Offices will create a natural sound buffer, which is kind of cool, but can't get away from it for now. Yeah, we should hit 420. <laughs> Any moment here, and that's, uh, we'll get, there we go, right there, little hamlet. So now I can adjust taxes, and we're going to do that. I can get a loan if I want. So as soon as you unlock stuff, people will start asking for it. So I'm going to have to, we need to manage our garbage. Uh, we need clinics for our people, and we need to at least get an elementary school in to start educating our citizen, uh, our citizens. Uh, we also have a recycling center, which is kind of nice. If you don't use a recycling center, you'll get a landfill, and it's kind of a permanent thing. Uh, though That is a real thing. That's a real thing where I grew up, landfills. Not the best way to manage stuff, but uh, that's what it is. Anyway. Let's do a little pause here, and we're going to access, if I can remember how to do this. Um, how do we access? Uh, no. Here we go. So taxes. So you can slide this up. Can I remember what it is? I think it's 12%. You can increase your, your taxes to 12%. Anything over 12, and your citizens were like, dude, I'm not paying this much money, but 12 will increase um, your income. So you're basically, I guess you could look at yourself like the mayor of the city or maybe the governor or the mayor of the town, governor of the city. Uh, this is the most you can get out. We could take a loan out if we want, but we're not in a situation to do that yet. So I tend to avoid those unless I absolutely need to. So now that we've increased our taxes, this number, yeah, it'll start going up and we'll get more and more money to play with. We got people complaining about water. Let's extend our water pipe system. There we go. They're good to go. I should take care of them. All right. Well, this is a good place to call it. Yeah, just about 40 minutes or so in. So next episode, we'll continue our little town. Probably going to build out. We'll have little pockets of uh, little neighborhoods, just like in real life. And I may try to get creative and do some um, roundabouts, uh, maybe not have such a grid pattern. It is fun to mix it up and create curved roads because you have that in real life, obviously. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens anyway. Also, let's do this. Can I do a... Let's do a cinematic camera <laughs> while we exit here. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up if you're interested. If not, well, if you're not interested, you probably didn't even watch it. But um, a lot of cool things you can do with this game. Um, I also have a DLC called Natural Disasters, which apparently is the worst DLC you can get. It's for people who want punishment. They like to be punished. So what that is, you could randomly have earthquakes, meteorites, all kinds of stuff. You could have space debris, and it just, it'll obliterate your town it's uh you can have tidal waves hurricanes tornadoes it's a little bit crazy <laughs> anyway 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this might be a lot of fun. We'll see how often I throw it up. I guess it depends on how many people like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Anybody that did, you guys take care. Uh, I will see you uh, maybe in the next one. Peace.